Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my channel. I have yet another candle review for you today. This is going to be the review of the Salted Vanilla Candle from Bath & Body Works. This candle is um, out during their semi-annual sale, but I do want to preface it with the fact that it's not an SAS candle. It's a new candle, new collection. I think it came out maybe a few weeks ago. There are about five other candles in this collection. I think there's like a mango one, a couple other ones, and of the whole collection, this was the only one that really kind of intrigued me. Uh, I'm a big vanilla fan, so of course I gravitated towards this. So let me read you the scent notes on this before I dive in. As you can see, I did burn it for about, I think, a good hour, maybe Maybe, actually maybe a little more hour and a half or so um, the scent notes include white sea salt Madagascar vanilla and soft buttercream so um, overall scent performance strength wise I would definitely give this candle about a seven I did use it in a small half bath so um, I don't know how it would perform in a larger room but I actually had this in my half bath and it performed really well I do want to preface this with saying I also have a lavender vanilla wallflower in my restroom as well as a lavender vanilla spray. So I'll get into that and why that's important in a moment. So that being said, what do I think of the candle? So, oh gosh, you guys, this candle is so, I don't know what to make of this. Um, on cold, I can smell like a sea salt type scent and like a buttercream, okay? So... To me, when I lit the candle and I walked out of the bathroom and I, I came back in like an hour and a half later, I was expecting to smell like a, um, like a fresh vanilla, like a, a kind of creamy vanilla almost. But when I walked back in after having lit this candle, I smelled like just like a sea salt fresh scent. Um, wasn't bad by any means. I was just really surprised. In my opinion, that salt note really 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 overpowers the vanilla um, it's just a really interesting combination um, I thought that because I liked the um, what is it it's um, salted caramel swirl during Christmas time that candle I think is awesome 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 but to me that one has nowhere near as much salt as this one does maybe the caramel is a little bit stronger of a scent and it kind of overpowers the uh, salt but this one you guys it just really has a strong strong salt smell to it um, not like in a gross salt way but it just it's more of a fresh candle than anything else and I have to I have to be honest with you if someone lit this candle and like covered up the label and let it burn for a while and was like what do you think is in this candle can you identify the the fragrances or the notes of this candle I don't think I'd be able to and I'm a big fan of vanilla but I when it's burning to me, I just, I can't smell the vanilla. All I can smell is just like fresh. Um, maybe a little hint of like a, a buttercream, like a cream aspect to it. Um, but it's just, it's one of the, it's a very different vanilla scent, different than anything I've ever burned. Uh, do I like it? Yeah, I really, really like it. It's very different. It's very fresh. Um, it's different than any other kind of like gourmand type fragrance I'm used to. I typically don't go with the fresh fragrances. I'll usually go with like um like a fruity one or maybe like a straight vanilla or a gourmand fragrance. So this is different than anything else I had, but um, when I had it in my bathroom, coupled with the lavender vanilla wallflower and lavender vanilla spray, it brought out the vanilla. So I don't know if I was smelling the wallflowers in the spray or if I was truly smelling that vanilla note in here. So anyways, you guys, this was super, super interesting. Um, will I buy it again? Probably not. Um, it's not that it's a bad candle. It's just... It, it's so different. I, I don't think it would go with any of the other fragrances I have going in my home. I typically have lavender vanilla going in the off season. Um, so to me, it just doesn't blend as well. It's just the saltiness was a little too much for me. Uh, I'm not going to return it. I, I do like it. It's not bad by any means, but I won't be repurchasing it. So anyway, you guys, I just wanted to get that video out to you. If any of you have used this candle, um, leave your comments down below. I'm really interested to see anyone else's feedback on this candle. So um, again, you guys, before I sign off, I just wanted to say thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for clicking on my channel and watching my videos. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any comments or any suggestions for videos I should be doing down the road, leave them down below. I'm, I'm really going to try my best to 
not only do candle reviews, but branch out into cosmetics and various things. I have a couple other videos of that up as well. I've also been dabbling with the idea of going to Yankee Candle and maybe doing a couple reviews on some Yankee Candles as well. I've burned Yankee in the past, but I haven't recently. I've been sticking to Bath & Body Works. So there's a couple Yankee Candles that I've been really wanting to try. I've seen a lot of reviews on that I just kind of want to give a shot and see how they go. And I'd love to review those for you guys too. So if you guys have any suggestions on any good Yankee candles that I should try, let me know and leave that in the comment down below. So again, you guys, I hope you're having an awesome, awesome weekend. I'm uploading this on a Sunday, so hopefully it makes it to you by Sunday or Monday. I hope you had an awesome weekend. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.